Grade 5 Math, number 11.1. .1. This chapter is on geometry and volume. I'm going to identify polygons. A polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more line segments that meet at points, like this, called vertices. The singular form is vertex, that's one. If it's more than one, it's vertices. Each polygon is named by the number of sides and angles it has. So, it says closed plane figure. This is a closed plane figure. This is an open plane figure. See that? So here's the number of sides, angles, and vertices that they have. If you notice, they all match coming down. See? Whatever the number of sides is, they have is the number of angles and vertices they have. Triangle is 3, quadrilateral is 4, pentagon is 5, hexagon is 6, hep Octagon is 7, octagon is 8, nonagon is 9, and decagon is 10. So there's a rule that says as the number of the sides increase, the measure of each angle inside increases for regular polygons, not for these. This is not a regular polygon. A regular polygon has all the sides are equal, okay? So when line segments have the same length or when the angles have the same measure, they're called congruent. In a regular polygon, all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent. Okay, my drawing's not the best, but it's supposed to be identical measures. So if this was four centimeters, each line would be four centimeters. Okay, now do you see these little marks that are on here? If you see a little line like that, a little hash mark like that, that means that this side is the same measure as that side. And when you see the little curve, that means this angle is the same as that angle. So that tells you about this polygon, this pentagon, that every single angle and side is the same as the next one. Now, if you see that it is not the same measure all the way around, this line is a different length than this one, then it's not a regular polygon. Regular polygons have all the same measures and angles going all the way around, okay? So this would be a regular polygon because each side would be the same length, but not this one. See? If you see these two little hash marks right here, these two little lines, that means that this side is congruent to this side. And where there's one, it means this one is congruent or equal to this one. But this is not equal to this one. Okay? Whatever has two marks are equal to each other, and whatever has one mark is equal to each other. So the little marks tell us who's, which lines are congruent to each other. And the little arcs tell us which angles are congruent to each other. See? This angle is the same measure as this one. But this one doesn't have one because it's not the same measure. All right? When you see one little line like this, that means they're congruent line segments, like these. When you see two little lines like this, that means that's the second set of congruent line segments. Here's the first set of congruent line segments, and here's the second set. If you actually see three, that means it's a third set of congruent line segments. And there might be four even on some polygons. When you see one little arc like this, that means these two angles are congruent to each other. When you see two little arcs, that means these are the second set that are congruent to each other. And if you see three, that's the third set of angles that are congruent to each other. So this one is congruent to this one, but not to this one or this one. See? That's why it's got three. These two are congruent. That's why they both have two. See how they do that? By using these markings, we can tell immediately which lines and angles are congruent. We know immediately that these two are congruent, but not these two. Because this has one arc and that has two. See? So, a hexagon has six line segments, vertices, and angles. That's an inside angle, an interior angle. This is a line segment, and this little pointy part is the vertex. So there's interior angles, and there's exterior angles. Okay? This is an interior angle, and there are actually outside exterior angles. See? You can look at these. Now, they're on the hexagon, but I don't want to confuse you. On this one, this angle's on the outside. See? That's an exterior angle. It's on the outside of the shape. 
See the angle there? So, polygons can have any shape as long as their sides are closed. Okay? Any polygon, polygon with five sides is a pentagon. See? This weird shape is a pentagon because it's got five sides. One, two, three, four, five. It doesn't have to be shaped like that, though that is a pentagon. It's got five sides. But as long as it's got five sides and it's closed, there's supposed to be a D on there, then it's a pentagon. Any polygon with six sides is a hexagon. It doesn't matter what the shape is. It could be any weird shape as long as it's closed. Any polygon with seven sides is a heptagon. It won't be a regular polygon, but it'll be that one according to that many sides. So you could go up to 20 sides. And as long as it's got all of its sides closed, if it's got 20 sides, it's a polygon. Okay? So, they all have different names according to their sides, angles, and vertices. See? They're like a family. There's a bunch of different triangles. They all have three sides. They're all different shapes. See? There's equilateral triangle, triangles, isosceles triangles. There's right triangles. And we'll be talking about those next. Okay? You get good at triangles you'll be good at trigonometry. See you next video. Bye.